Hi there, it is Thursday morning. It's time for an MKL check-in. So, um, this is where I am. I The center panel with the chevrons is section one, clue one. I've done the right wing, which is just garter wedges with some dark brown sections of twisted rib. And then I've done the left panel that is a mirror image of the same. So I ended up, you guys were so encouraging in the comments about um, changing around section three. So the right panel is garter stitch that is all knit with knit stitches. That's those pink wedges. And um, the mirror image section on the other side is garter stitch that is made through continual purling. <laughs> which sounded horrible. And I was worried that my gauge wouldn't match um, on top of that from the knit side and the purl side because my pearls are usually pretty loose. So um, I read all the comments and everybody said it was pretty easy to switch it around to um, knit the garter stitch on the mirror side. So I went ahead and did that. It was not bad. I'm so glad that you guys convinced me to do it. Um, you basically, I'm trying to think how I even did it. I, I sort of just stopped looking at the pattern and once I got my short row set up, um, I just sort of continued along because you're moving your short row marker back five stitches each time to make those wedges. So once you get set up, it doesn't really, you don't really need the pattern for anything, which made it easier. It's not like I was looking at it and then trying to reverse the directions. I will say on my second wedge, um, I realized two rows into it that I had, that I was doing sh short rows in the wrong direction. So um, the way I have it now, the wedge gets wider on this outer portion here. And of course, the way that I had started doing short rows, it was getting wider on the inside section. Like, no, <laughs> I was like, ah, but I had only done, I think two rows in the wrong direction with my marker advancing the wrong way. I mean, how, do you, how did I even, I don't even know how I did that. This is why I was worried about it. Um, but I basically just uh, ripped back uh, two rows, which was, it was really not that bad. And then um, got it going in the right direction. And I only did that one time. So I don't know what my problem was. I just wasn't, if you're not, if you don't have it laid out in front of you, it's very easy to get turned around which way you're even going, which way is the right side, which way is the wrong side. I mean, I know they don't look the same at all. I mean, you can see that jumbled up mess on the back. But when you're in the middle of it, it was very confusing. So that was like a minor hiccup, but it really was not that big of a deal. I think it was only an hour or so of work to go back and undo my work and then pick up all the stitches and, and get going again, which in the grand scheme of it is not that much. So this is this, I still have, so this is section one, two, three. I still have sections four and five to do of clue two, which are the cable sections at the bottom. You pick up along this bottom edge and do a cable section, which does not look that bad. It's only like 30 or so rows. Um, here and then there's an identical section again on the other side but you know have i picked up no i haven't i'm a little bit it, it's hard to stay motivated like i like the way the shawl looks um i think it's a little weird but like okay it's stephen west i'm not entirely surprised by that but i will say having two mirror sections kind of gave me second sock syndrome where I did the one and I was like, check, I did it. And then I really just didn't feel like doing the second one. And I know I'm going to feel that way with my cable sections where I, if I do the one, I mean, if I'm going to do it, when I do section four, then once that's completed, then I have to pick up stitches and do the exact same thing on the other side, which is, it's not very motivating, but um, I can't think of a way to do them both at the same time. <laughs> So I, we're sort of stuck with what we're, we're stuck with. So I'm just going to get to it. I need to log on and take a look at clue three that dropped this morning. So I'll um, set up and watch Steven's video for clue three while I'm working on my cable sections. And I'll check back in with my reactions for clue three. Hope you're doing well. Talk to you soon. Okay, friends, I watched the video for Clue 3, and um, I don't know if you watched the video, but what, <laughs> what in the world is going on? So I'm excited because 
It doesn't look like that much knitting. I mean, famous last words, right? But for real, compared to clue one and clue two, it really does not look like that much knitting. But it is weird. Okay, so if you haven't watched the video, um, you pick up, well, it's gonna be hard because I don't have my cable section done yet, but there's this little cable section at the bottom and you pick up along that edge here of the cable section and you do these long strips. There's a long strip on this side and then there's an identical long strip of like 20 stitches wide coming out of the side there. So what in the world is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if, okay, as far as I can see it, there are a couple of options. Either, if you just look at one side, right, you'd have your cable section and then there's a long strip, almost like a scarf, a skinny little scarf that comes out of the side um, from the cable section. And it, I mean, it goes for a long way. So either he's going to do something weird with those strips or an even worse scenario is we have to somehow join these live stitches to the strip of knitting. Like, I guess you could do like a giant triangle section above where um, it kind of like narrows down and you pick up some stitches along that edge um, and, and uh, join it with the live stitches from your section two. I, I don't know. <laughs> Or it's gonna be like knit suspenders or something. <laughs> or like a knit backpack or a cape. I heard somebody say it was like a straight jacket and like I feel that <laughs> profoundly. But um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sort of, I'm definitely wondering what's going on with Clue 4. There's also this optional decorative uh, thing that you do with eye cords and the cables um, in that cable section. So that's like a second part to Clue 3, which, um, I'm fairly certain I'm not gonna have time to get to. <laughs> and I don't even know if I like it. It's kind of a weird decorative technique where you thread eye cords through your cables. I don't know. I don't, he's like really into texture because you got these braids um, where you braid your eye cords and then um, eye cords are decorating um, your cables. So it's kind of like an eye cord festival. So I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of on the fence on that. I'm not gonna worry about eye cord uh, options. At this point, I'm just going to try to um, get through the knitting and catch up a little bit. Um, so I don't know. I'm hoping to be done with clue two by the end of the weekend. That gives me f Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like four days or so to do those two cable sections. And then I'll be on to those long strips of clue three, which I mean, it's like a four stitch cable. So you're only crossing two stitches. Um, it does not seem that bad. It, I mean, I'll probably get on here on Monday and be like, oh my God, it's the worst. But at this point, it really doesn't seem that bad. So I don't know. I mean, do I like it? I guess I like it. I don't understand it. I don't know what's going on with Clue 3, but um, I'm in it to win it. So we're going to find out. I'm going to do my best to catch up this week and um, see where the heck we go from here. I mean, he's going to have to work really hard to make some kind of recognizable shawl shape out of those bands. But if anyone can do it, it's him. So um, that's all. Keep on knitting. Uh, if you're working on the MKL, um, hang in there. I know this is sort of the part of the knit along where I just am like, eh, I don't really feel like doing it. I'm not a monogamous knitter normally or ever actually. So it's just, it's so obvious to me when you get to the third week of any project that like all the shiny newness has worn off. And I just kind of, I can think of 20 other projects I'd rather cast on than this, but, um, here we are. <laughs> so I'm going to get to it and I will talk to you. Let's see. So today's Thursday. I'll check in at the end of the weekend and hopefully I'll be done with clue two. I mean, cross your fingers, right? It could happen. Take care. Hey there. It is Saturday and I have finished section. What section is this? One, two, three, section four. <laughs> so this is, if you remember, um, this is the first cable section so we have section one, which is the chevrons, two, three, which is the mirror image on the other side, and then four is here. And then there's an identical cable section that belongs on the bottom on the other side. So it's so pretty. There's these giant antler cables um, interspersed with these 
uh, more narrow cables. I'm really bad at cables. I don't know what they're called or <laughs> what the specific terms are. Um, but this section was actually surprisingly enjoyable to knit. I forgot that when you knit cables, you're actually only cabling once in a while. So this section had about 30 or so rows, but there were only four cable rows in that whole section. So the rest of it was just knits and pearls, which was easy breezy. <laughs> and I was really happy to have. Um, I'm not sure you picked up along this I-cord edge there. That does not look good. And I did the best I could. It's definitely not as pretty as my other pickup. Um, and I don't even know if I did it right because I ended up with like some extra I-cord at the end. Is it supposed to look like that? I don't even know. I didn't go back and watch the video because I'm not changing it. <laughs> so if that's how it's supposed to look, great. If not, um, it is a design choice. So section four is done. I have to do the identical cable section on the bottom of um, the other panel for section five. So there'll be another identical cable pattern here, which I have to say, I know I talked about it before, but I'm really not looking forward to knitting the exact same thing again, but I'll do it. Um, I actually, it's not gonna be that bad because this section went surprisingly quickly given that I'm pretty slow with cables, but like I said, there aren't that many cables. So um, it, it was fine, it was fine. So I'm hoping to pick up stitches to get started on this tonight and then um, knit the cable section. This one took me about two days. So that would be Sunday, Monday. So I would be done on Monday and then on to clue three. <laughs> so, I mean, actually that's not that bad because like I said, clue three doesn't look that big as far as how much actual knitting is involved. So that would give me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like two or three days. So even if it took me like four or five days, I wouldn't be that far behind for clue four. So that's where we're at. Um, I do like how it is looking. This is kind of the whole shebang. Uh, and I'll just keep at it and see where we end up. I hope if you're doing that, Kelly, you're having fun. I know it's kind of hard to keep motivated, but it's amazing what finishing a section can do for you. The moment I finished section four, I was like, I love this shawl. I love the MKL. Yay, I should work on it more. Um, it's just when you're in the middle of a giant section that it just seems incredibly daunting, especially when you can see the next clue in the distance and you're not even there yet. <laughs> But I'm going to keep at it and I'll show you uh, where I end up. I'll probably do a quick pop on for tomorrow um, on the end of Sunday and then just post whatever I've got. Um, and we'll go from there. See you tomorrow. <sighs> okay. So it is Sunday night. <laughs> I'm in the exact same spot as I was yesterday. This is my section four completed. It looks lovely. And I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I picked up stitches, I started my cables, I was actually ahead, I got all the way to row, I believe 12 or 13, and I was like cruising along, I'm doing great, I even brought it, um, I drop my kids off at Sunday school and I have to sort of just chill out for an hour uh, while they do that, and I was like doing my knitting, and then I looked down, I should have taken video, but it was too demoralizing. <laughs> so I looked down and I realized, you know how this, um, cable section has like a large antler cable right there with two sides and then a small cable that only turns, you know, it's like, turns like an S and then you have your antler cable and then you have that, um, S cable, whatever you call it. Okay. So <laughs> somehow I jumbled up my cables when I was setting them up. So I had two antler cables next to each other. And then I, and it stayed like that for a while because I wasn't looking at the pattern. I was just reading my knitting. So every time it was a knit row, I just knit. And every time it was a purl stitch, I just purled. And so it kind of did that for one cable repeat. And then I got to the part where I had to cable again. And I was like, that's weird. Why is it not lining up? And then once I realized it, I was like, oh no, <laughs> I think I know exactly what happened. So Saturday night, um, I was watching that Jeff Bridges show, The Old Man, where he's like an ex-CIA agent and um, he still like outsmarts all the bad guys. 
And it's just really exciting. It's a great show. You should definitely watch it. But it's really exciting. And so it's not really the kind of show that I can watch while following a complicated cable pattern. <laughs> I just got a little bit overconfident. So I'm like cruising along with my knitting and watching Jeff Bridges doing like CIA tradecraft stuff. And I must have just messed it up while I was doing that. So I tried, I don't know if you ever, I don't know if you read um, Stephanie Pearl McPhee's blog. If you don't, you definitely should. Um, what's it called? The Yarn Harlot. But she has an amazing post, which is worth looking up just because, I mean, if you weren't sure whether she was a knitting goddess. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, I just realized there are three loose eye cord stitches on my needle. Okay, from what I ripped out. Okay, wait. Pause. Okay. This almost got so much worse. Okay. So Stephanie Pearl McPhee has this really amazing blog entry from like years ago. Um, I read it when I first started knitting and I think I was just reading through her archives. So I think it's from like a, a million years ago, but she's knitting some kind of giant sweater and I think it's a sweater or a blanket and it's all cable-y. And then she realized um, at a certain point that she had miscrossed one of the cables and of course instead of leaving it like I would <laughs> or setting fire to it she decided to drop down in a cable and re-knit up and so I was like well I read an article about this three years ago so surely I can do that <laughs> so I dropped down to try to fix my antler cable snafu and um for people who were not sure and were following along at home I am the poor man's uh, Stephanie Pearl McPhee and cannot actually drop down in a cable row. <laughs> so <laughs> it was like such a jumble of floats and like there were yarn loops everywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I didn't, I couldn't even find my little crochet hook. So I was trying to like MacGyver it just with DPNs. It was horrible. So I'm like, forget it. Ugh, blah. So just ripped out. Um, so I'm back to where I started. <laughs> Great. And I'm a couple of days behind. And I was a couple of days behind before that. So now I'm like several, many, um, a plethora of days behind. However, it's actually quite nice for ripping out because um, I, they were picked up stitches. So it's not like it just runs forever. I just ripped back to the beginning of the section and I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna deal with this tomorrow. I'm gonna pick up stitches again and I'm gonna feel better about it. And you know, I'm hopefully gonna be done with clue two before clue three, or before clue four comes out. <laughs> I am crossing my fingers that I'm gonna be done with clue two before clue four gets out. Um, in the meantime, like I just can't look at it right now. It's giving me, um, it's like making me low grade angry. <laughs> so I just cast on a hat because hats are my happy project. And they've never done me wrong. I even did a tubular cast on to prove to myself that I'm like, I'm not a bad knitter. I just can't watch Jeff Ridges while I knit. <laughs> so fine. I'm going to knit on my hat. It's a nice one by one rib. Look how pretty that cast on is. I know you can't see, but like, that's so pretty. So I'm going to look at my pretty cast on and knit my one by one rib and deal with Senior West in the morning. In the meantime, <laughs> I hope you're doing okay. Hope your knitting is treating you better than mine is. Um, I have seen a lot of people deciding like they're thrown in the towel on West Knits and they just can't deal with the MCAL anymore. And I have to say, um, cabling aside, I do feel that I am not a one project type of knitter and I am at my limit with hence the hat. So um, I am not giving up. <laughs> I do like the shawl. It's like growing on me more. I know some people have sort of drifted away and they don't like the way it's looking. I actually kind of do like the way it's looking. I don't know what that says about me. Um, so I'm still going to do it. I fully believe that tomorrow morning when I wake up, the dejection and absolute shame of ripping out all of those beautiful cables is, you know, it's going to be like a thing of the past and I'm going to start afresh. <laughs> and it's going to be Monday and all my kids are going to be at school, be nice and quiet. And I can just, um, you know, make up for lost time. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and post this because like, this is it. <laughs> it's not going to get any better from here. And um, I'll just sort of continue on and hopefully I'll get another video up realistically, like by the time clue four comes out and, you know, cross your fingers that I'm at least on clue three. So <laughs> it, I think it's going to happen. I feel pretty good about that. 
Have a good night. I'll talk to you soon. It's an emergency. I'm gonna catch him. I'm gonna catch him. Okay. Ah, uh, disaster averted. They have not gone anywhere. I can't get in there. Okay. <laughs>